welcome back to my channel my name is Zariel if this is your first time watching today I'm gonna be giving you guys a new addition to my channel 2022 new you new me no 2022 same me new things I don't know how to say and go but y'all know exactly what I mean so for 2022 I decided to enter a new segment to my channel it's called what's new in my wardrobe and it's going to be completely different from like styling hauls what's new in my wardrobe is just going to be a series where i show you different products that i've purchased or received you know that's new in my wardrobe basically i'm like it speaks for itself um my styling hauls more so i'm like trying the products on for you to see what's new in my wardrobe i'm just more so showing y'all and talking about the products so let me know how y'all feel about that. Um, I personally really like styling hauls when they're like from one brand, not necessarily several brands. So that's why I kind of wanted to switch it up and have this segment added to my channel. So let me know how y'all feel about that. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to that channel. Tell your friends, tell them to subscribe, okay? I need y'all to subscribe. That's I, I need people to subscribe. I need y'all to tell your friends to subscribe. All that. Okay. My nails, every time I look at them, I'd be like, oh, hey, girl. Hey, polished by me. Okay. My makeup looks really good right now. I'm, like, looking in this camera, and I generally cannot believe. I didn't even put that much on, so there's nothing like just a simple, like, glam. I don't know. It just looks good in my hair. It's looking real straight, even though it's not weave. My mama been doing my weave for three days now and it's still not done. So we know it ain't going to get done. It ain't going to get done this week. Even though she keeps saying, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. It ain't going to get done. I've come to live with it. Okay, back on topic. So the first thing I'm going to be showing you is actually something I have on right now. So this is the Skims bodysuit. Let me back this up some so you guys can smooth that out the way. Got my makeup and stuff. Okay, this is the Skims bodysuit. This is in the size small, medium, and it's the t-shirt. One in the color quartz, which is the darker shade. Um, I It fits. I really like the raw hem. I didn't really understand what people was talking about when, when, they, when they talked about the raw hem. But the raw hem just makes a difference. The, the raw hem is on here too, so it kind of like rolls on the end because of the hem but I like that I like the raw hem I like the raw hem the fit is like it's like on your body like a sec in it but it doesn't feel like confined like my boobs I don't have a bra on I need one on because my boobs well I don't need one on but I could wear a bra you know but it just feel it's just like suction it and like this color just looks great on my skin tone. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, this this color looks great on my skin tone. I'm really have been into the brown because it just it goes well. I, I usually wear black too, so it's crazy. But the browns have I really been that trend has really been you know I like that trend. And this t-shirt bodysuit is everything. I like living it. I wear it with jeans, joggers, leather pants, everything. Okay everything so I do have two more bodysuits to show you from skims this is the um mock neck high neck no sleeves this is the bodysuit that I don't know if you guys remember the meme when Kim well it wasn't even a meme really it was a video when quarantine first started and Kim was in her bathroom doing her makeup for the Vogue and North comes in and was like you should be worried about your kids and then like Kim was like I just want to do one little thing for me in the bathroom she had on this bodysuit and it looks amazing like it's so sad because once you get like a quality product it's really hard to buy like the cheaper ones because it's just not the same feel and it just don't feel right so you'd be like Ugh. this i don't have nothing bad to say about it it looks amazing um you do have to wear a bra with this just because like it is a little it's not necessarily see-through but like with this color you can really see your like nipples if you don't wear a bra but it's not like see-through where you could actually see like the color or anything. It's just you would see 
the imprint. But if you don't mind the imprint, then you ain't gonna win the world with this. No, no. Again, small, medium for size. And then um, the snap is, this one isn't a thong, which that's the only, actually that's the one thing I can say I don't like because the t-shirt one is a thong, which works. Um, this one is not a thong and it's like a, like a little snap stitch. But that's okay. I, it doesn't have to be a thong. It's not like it's like ridiculous on the butt part. It's, it's still kind of thin. All right, so here is another Skims bodysuit. This one is the crew neck. This is the crew neck and this is the color black. And it is a thong. See, this is like a thong. This one's a thong, which is great. Um, I don't have anything to that. So, like, they just work. Like, they work. They go up underneath, like, this black one. I wear this one the most. Out of all of them, I wear this one the most because I wear a lot of black. And I literally just put this on with, like, a sweater and, like, jeans every day to work. Or leather pants or something. Like, this looks really cute with, like, leather pants and this. And then I have all these necklaces on. And then I have, like, a cardigan on with my little combat boots. Boom. Outfit. Popping. Get y'all some skims. This is a size small medium as well. So another new item in my wardrobe is going to be this pretty little thing. This hanger is trash. This if y'all would have saw the hanger you would have been like no more wire hangers. Okay so this shirt is well it's a sweater and it's from pretty little thing and look at the detail. If y'all can see the knit is like this like pattern for the knit. I don't even know what that's called. A lot of pieces that I purchase are pieces that can be styled up because I really like to wear my pieces up and down. I don't really like to buy things that I can only wear one place. Um, no, because this can be worn to work. It can be worn to like dinner with the girls. It can be worn to just like Every day. next item on my list is from ASOS. And it's this oversized um t-shirt well it's an oversized long sleeve shirt and it says hamptons and it has like tennis club and it's white it's just cute like it's just cute you wear it lounging shirt jeans joggers sneakers it's just generally cute thanks yasmin that is cute love it i just really like that it had like the tennis on it and hamptons it was cute Okay, so the next thing that I purchased is this gold cuff. This is from ASOS. I like this. It's real cute. It's like simple but cute. See how like all the jewelry just like, it made a little extra to my outfit. Yep, that's why you need to accessorize. That is exactly why you need to accessorize. This glam is low key like a signature glam. Or I could say everyday makeup. Do y'all wanna see an everyday makeup tutorial? Let me know down in the comments. If you guys are getting any type of value from this video right now, please like my video. Please comment on my video. I would greatly appreciate it. Okay, on to the next item. All right, so the next item is something I actually did not get at a store. And I was very excited about it. I kind of mentioned it a couple of, I probably got it like two months ago. Um, I probably mentioned it, but it is a Christian Dior trench coat that I thrifted from the thrift store. Which is like wild because like what? I tell y'all when I saw this, I was like scrolling and I saw Christian Dior. And I said, I didn't even know it was a coat. I just like saw Christian Dior and stopped and was like, what's this? And then I like looked and was like, a trench coat? I was like, oh my God. So then I snatched it, took it all the way to the back of the store to try it on. Because you know they don't have the dressing rooms open. And I was like, I gotta get this. Well, I was trying to figure out if it was real or not. But it's real. It's real. I you used my detective work to realize it's real. It was just a men's coat, but it works for my outfits. Okay, it works. That whole like it's a very UK like have my cap on with my trench. All I need is a Birkin, and I would be great. It's Christian Dior, honey. Christian, Christian. And it was only fifty dollars. Christian Dior. And it's like a trench coat. Not go wrong with a trench coat. You cannot go wrong with 
y'all. <laughs> I'm weak. So this painting fell off the wall a couple weeks ago. And I've been saying I'm going to put it up for weeks. But there's something you should know. I'm not a very handy person. So the last two times I tried to put it up, it fell. So I just decided to sit it on the wall and look. And it fell. It fell. That's just great. Just great. <laughs> it's okay. We will continue the video without it. But I am working on redecorating. I've gotten several different things. Um, it's just kind of not all complete. I haven't decided if I'm going to just start like putting it up and kind of working on it as I go. Or do I want to have everything and then put it up? Which I'm actually working on a canvas to put back here. If you guys didn't know, I went to art school. Um, I'm very artsy. I actually love to paint. I really do. Um, in high school, it was my favorite subject was advanced draw paint. Um, my painting isn't going to be anything like extravagant. It's going to be like um, abstract. But I do enjoy painting. And I think at one point in my life, when I have a home of my own, I'm going to have like a room that's designated for like artwork and like painting and you know that type of vibe for my creative side because you can lose your creative side when you don't use it as much like I used to draw really good now I can't I mean I can still draw but I'm not great it's like because I haven't been nursing it for the past like eight years at one point I was like drawing every single day so of course I was getting better but now I don't really draw as much I don't it's not as good but that's what I'm working on. That was just a side note. Okay. So the next thing that's on our list is a talentless jumpsuit. And talentless is Scott Disick's brand. Which is lit. So that's talentless. Um, this is the women's cut. So I've already had talentless before. But I had the men's cut. And it's way baggier and way bigger. Which I do like it for the color that I got. I don't think I would have liked this fit in like the nude color I have. But the black one fits like way form fitting. But I do like that because it is black. But and then the pants are just like black. But the material is everything. It's like thick. He markets his brand as a premium, you know, sweat, pants, sweatshirt, lot. And the truth of the matter is, is that his product is a premium brand for a cheaper price. Because if you were to go to Saks and try to get like a hoodie and sweatpants, it'd be like $500 a piece. You go on StockX and you try to get like Drew House and Travis Scott and um any type of like essentials. Like you try to get a higher end like hoodie and sweatpants, you paying every bit of like $200 to $500. Chrome Hearts, $750. But like Scott's brand, it really is quality. I swear. I have two sweatsuits and a t-shirt and it is quality. Honestly, it's winter time and it's like 30 degrees. I could put the sweatsuit on with sneakers and like a bomber jacket and legit be warm. It's thick. Like it really shouldn't. And they the price is like $90 for the um pants. And then I think it's 100 for the hoodie, which is actually a decent price for the quality of the product that you're getting so those are all my new clothing items I got all that stuff in like December around Christmas time um but I do have a couple of more like kind of beauty type of things that I wanted to show you guys because necessarily it's not enough for like its own video but I just wanted to pop it in there because it's some new stuff that I got and it's technically in my wardrobe technically all right so I got these like gold hoop, can you see this? These like gold hoop earrings from TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx low key people, low key be sleeping. TJ Maxx got real good jewelry. If you go to the jewelry section, you just have to go and like really look at the pieces that they have down there. You'll find some good like simple pieces. Like this cross is from TJ Maxx. It's like a Swarovski crystal like cross that I got from there and it lasts I wear it like every day it does not turn or anything but these earrings are so cute the only thing I can say is that like this side stays pretty well but this side does not it stay like going in you know 
So like I'll have it on my ear and it'll be fine and then it'll just like sink in. I don't know how I feel about that, but on the upside, they're cute. They just like little gold hoops. So I have these um Wang earrings. I ordered them on Etsy, so I'm pretty sure they're not real. But they cute. It's like they're cute and it's like a little stud and it says Wang. It, it's really cute for when you wear your hair up with the outfit because the earring is so big. Um, I can't wait to wear them for like a little girl's night out. A little Ocean Prime date. Wink, wink. That is my favorite restaurant. I cannot wait. The money bag, okay? I feel like I might have showed y'all the money bag. But it don't change. It's new in my wardrobe and it bling, okay? I just thought it was so cute. Like, you can't tell me this bag is not cute. It's so simple, so cute. A couple of beauty products because, you know, I can't I can't have stuff without giving y'all some beauty products. A couple of beauty products that I have is the Patrick Ta Face and Body Balm. So, the Face and Body Balm, I have the, like, Body Glow. Which is great. It looks good. The only thing is, is that, that it transfers to like clothes. So then he came out with the body balm. The balm does the exact same thing but it don't transfer. You put it into your skin. And then you rub. The trick is to rub it in and then let it like sit for a minute before you put your outfit on. So that you don't get it everywhere. But like look at how like glossy and like wet do my hand looks like compared to this hand this hand distinctively looks better and i have lotion on but this hand looks dry no lipstick my friend got it for me for christmas and it's the roge cocoa gloss and it's like this like gold reflect i have it on right now so it's not like as gold but it just gives you that like gloss high finish shimmer I look amazing it looks amazing yes this lip gloss y'all need it y'all need it gotta have it but I got it so so that was everything that I have for you guys today thank you guys so much for watching I'm so happy that you guys are still here with me one year later and we still going strong in these streets we still going strong okay I'm still going to have my videos out for y'all every Tuesday. I'm working hard. I'm trying to be very consistent. And I'm planning. Trying to be better. So I'm going to have them out there for y'all. So be prepared this year. I wish everybody prosperity and happiness. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.